Here are 20th century mountaineers, but their objective is no myth. They scale mountains of steel in the cause of science. They are GPO riggers, trained to carry out maintenance and construction work on radio masts, towers and microwave installations. A multi-purpose safety chair is used by the rigger to reach the face of jutting aerials, so it must be rigorously tested. A special school for riggers at Rugby Radio Station is training volunteers who are now practicing for the future on the 300-foot Copt Oak Tower, Leicestershire, part of Britain's inland telephone network. It's a hazardous occupation, but modern equipment and safety gear minimize the danger. Safety first is the golden rule, so all equipment must be tested as near to the ground level as possible. However careful, accidents can happen, so a mock rescue exercise is part of the rigger's essential training. A recently introduced rescue innovation is the Paragard Rescue Stretcher, a folding pack which straps to a man's back. The rescuers must act swiftly but competently to save an injured man. This is a job which calls for a highly tuned blend of courage and common sense. But here's a test for even a fully trained rigger. The Rugby Telegraph communications mast is more than 800 feet of towering steel, though the GPO experts say that if a man can work without fear or ill effects at 30 feet, there is no reason why this should not apply at 300 feet. A comforting theory, if you've got both feet on the ground. Now the rigger's arduous and hazardous training is put into practice. Vital maintenance and repair work has to be done, a daily test of their courage and skill. Once there was only a handful of riggers, but now as the post office's vast microwave network spreads across Britain, the target is 200 within two years. There's no shortage of volunteers, for well, this is a job which earns danger money, and with good reason. <laughs> <laughs> 